I've been in UNANSI for four years and I've been studying international communications with Chinese. Why well, I came to UNANC is, um, well, first of all, I think it's a really unique place since you can study Chinese in the local environment while getting a degree with all the English teaching standards and getting an uh, English diploma which is quite challenging as well as quite, quite fun, I think. I spent my first semester in France and I chose to come to UNNC for my second semester because it seemed like partly the easiest option because my course would be continued here, a lot of my friends are coming here and I knew that I would get all the help I needed with uh, visa applications, um, the language, culture, fitting in. It's similar to the Nottingham campus and there's plenty of open space. There's lots of grass, lots of trees, there's a lake, there's some geese. I really like the look of this campus in Ningbo because we've got a lake, we've got lots of open space and I actually, I think my favourite part of this campus is right in front of the, um, the AB building, the administrative building. There's a wonderful sort of Chinese decoration and it's really, it's great. I mean, architecturally, you can just see you're definitely in China. It's got a great atmosphere to it, and then in the back, you've got the um, wonderful clock tower building, and it just looks, it's got a nice sort of contrast. We have like everything here we've got restaurants, we've got our own shops, we've got our own little community here. You've got everything that you can need. I mean, in reality, you don't really need to leave the campus because you've got, you know, a clinic, lots of shops. Um, Lots of great restaurants, I think it's really good. And you know, cooking, we have the cooking club, we have potlucks every week on our floor. Uh, we had we travel to other cities. I like to participate in NATS. Uh, NATS is a Nottingham University television station, so I've been co-producing co uh, some programs and presenting a lot, so this is really fun and good experience for me, because uh, I would like to pursue a career in journalism later. And there was another one which was Homestay, which was over the Easter holidays, you were able to stay with a Chinese friend at, at their house. Um, me and a friend, we, we, so we went to Zunyi for, for a month and that was pretty awesome. I've taken part in the vis-a-vis -vis, um, buddy system, the homestay system. So I'm going to Yunnan, which is in the southwest of China, um, in a month's time to spend a week with my friend Fiona, who I've got to know really well here. Um, and I'm also taking part in the YVA um, summer social practice, which is a project in Nepal to teach for a month. Um, also all with Chinese students, so obviously that would improve my Chinese massively as well and it will be an incredible experience, so in every way I'm glad I came here. We've also got several shopping plazas um, with lots of western restaurants, Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants um, we've got a great shopping district uh, in city centre uh, and also you've got a great library which uh, we were given a tour of when we first arrived um, so it's got sort of a nice sort of traditional Chinese feel and a modern feel as well and certainly a lively feel to it as well because it's a great city. Transportation is very, very good. I mean, taxis are really cheap. Much cheaper than anywhere else in the world and like I think every international student in Ningbo knows how friendly the drivers are. I really like Ningbo city. Um, I mean surprisingly it's got over 4 million people in it so it's, you know, it doesn't seem that big, but when you look at it on the map, it's actually quite a big developing city. Nightlife is really rich. Everybody in Ningbo, all the internationals just like to hang out in uh, Lao Wai Tan. Got an area called Lao Wai Tan. There's a really good area to go out called Lao Wai Tan. With loads of bars there and lounge bars and clubs. It's full of um, Western bars, Western people. Um, if you really just want to let your hair down, have a good time with all the international students. And um, there's a few really good shopping areas. There's certainly a lot of things to do here. Um, culturally, relaxation, restaurants, going out. There's a lot going on here. Well, I love people. It's, um, uh, it's really and truly an international environment we're being with. And I can have a chance to meet people from all over the world yeah, and hang out with Chinese people as well, get to know uh, Chinese culture much deeper than if I've been studying Chinese from anywhere else. I think especially for people studying business, um, development of China and such because it's one of the fastest developing cities in China and supposed to be the happiest city in China interestingly as well as one of the richest.